The Games Family. Hello, Games Gang. How are y'all doing this morning? <laughs> so, of course, um, this is our weekly video. And we're here to just provide great content for y'all every week. That's, that's our goal. Great content. So, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe. And send to our weekly videos. But this week, we're going to be talking about, uh, what are we talking about? We're talking about, is marriage for you? Oh, is it for you? Because it's for us. Obviously. Kind of, sort of. But is it for you? A kind of, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah. How you want to dive into this? So, I think, okay, one of the main questions that we always get is, how did you guys know you guys wanted to get married so young? Personally, for me, there wasn't a lot of options, being <laughs> honest. It's plenty of options. I was, 22, I was 22, and I was super happy. Me and Adam have always had this amazing connection, and no matter what tried to pull us apart, we end up coming more closer together. So it was pretty cool. First off, backstory, she didn't even want to talk to me. In the beginning, like not even at all. But you know, your boy got some charm. So here we are today. But okay. Anyways, so um, I just knew for myself that it was for me because one, I need a partnership. I need someone that we can do anything together and we can defeat the world. That's how I've always thought about it. Six so for me, marriage is always something that I saw myself doing even as a little girl so it wasn't like oh my god i'm being forced or oh my god when he asked you know me to marry him i was like oh my god yes and we make a great team it's all about teamwork it's all about communication it's all about love and caring but friendship as well so for me i was like heck yeah marriage is for me because that's all the things that i want anyways i want someone that can be my best friend you know there's some couples that talk to each other when they get home, um, they talk to each other throughout the whole day. That's me and Adam. Literally, it's never a dull moment. We could talk about anything, everything, at any time for hours. That's just how we are. And for some people, they don't even have anything in common, but they're married. How is that possible? That would be a question for you guys. How is that possible to not have anything in common with someone, but you're still with them? That, for me... I don't understand, but whatever. Well, I mean, on the flip side of that, you don't necessarily have to have something in common, but you can always find common ground. Because oh. some things, like, say, say for instance, we're complete opposites, right? So say you're like this prissy super girl, and I'm like a wrestler or something, right? You may not have uh, things in common to start with, but you can find a common ground in between the two. Like, oh, okay, well, I have to do this kind of prep work for this, and you have to do this kind of prep work for that. And just in the prep work alone, you can find some common ground. So, uh, you have it's, got something in common. That's not necessarily in common, though. Like, I feel two like, fields. I feel like if you guys have nothing in common, how are you guys going to stay married? If you guys can't I know agree. How <laughs> great sex. That's something in common. A lot of people stay there. That's something in common. Great sex. The sexual chemistry is amazing. That's something in common. Or, okay, you guys both have plans to be a certain place in your life. That's something in common. You guys have the same religious goals. That's something in common. You guys have the same, you know, hobbies. You know, that's something in common. Me and Adam, we don't like to do the same things most of the time. Some people, you know, they could have marriage could be like a contract. Like, I don't know if anybody watches uh, the show House of Cards. I think it's canceled now. But no, it's not. They have on a the new show, season. Okay, well, they, they got a new season. season that we have to so, watch. on House of Cards, him and his wife, they didn't necessarily have, like, anything in common. Like, they both lived their own lives. But when it came to, like, the limelight, they made sure that they worked together, they worked together as a team. So, I mean, maybe some people think of it like that. How can you help me help myself? 
push myself forward. For any people, you know what I'm saying, that's got a little shaky paperwork, there you go. I'm just saying, shaky paperwork, just, you know what I'm Disregard saying? that. We do not condone that. Why not? I mean, you know, it's a, it's a business transaction. You get in what you want. I get what I want. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the terms are, that's the term. But um, for me personally, I knew that I wanted to marry Tay just because I had been in other relationships and been around other women to where, <clears throat> excuse me, I understood what I wanted in life. And then I met this person right here. And I was like, whoa, like, this gives me a whole different aspect of how I'm thinking, how I'm moving. She made me a better person. I was like, oh yeah, this is gonna be my wife. This is just the one. Men for us is simple. What we know, we know. So that part's easy. All right guys, so I'm glad you guys stayed to the end of the video. We are going to be doing an amazing segment on how to keep it spicy next week. So make sure you guys stay on subscribe make sure you like this video make sure you share and then share tune it. in tune in next week next week it's gonna get real interesting spicy i wonder what we're gonna talk about girl, girl. <laughs>